Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm just making this quick video here before I go to bed because uh, I'm tired, so I'm going to go to bed soon. Anyways, enough about that. Uh, this is my EDH deck, of which is my favorite. My Setcar Deathkeeper EDH deck. Uh, this was my second EDH deck I ever built, and it is undoubtedly my favorite. In fact, I liked it so much that I even painted all over the commander to make him look all full art and stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is an altar done by me, and all altars you see in this deck are also done by me. Um, anyways, moving on, what this guy does is he is two black, red, and a green to play. He's a 4-3, and whenever another non-token creature of mine dies, I get a 3-1 black and red graveborn token with haste. So, uh, one of my... F one of my uh, reasons that this is my favorite deck is the fact that I got to make all these Coolio Graveborn tokens because, uh, well, they just don't make these. So, we get to throw these guys out every so often. I only have four because I haven't drawn some in a while, so. Anyways, moving along to the actual deck. Put him aside. Um, here's a mountain done by me. There are three mountains, five forests, and six swamps. Now, uh, I do believe this is my only three colored EDH deck, and yeah, it is. Um, it's my only th th tri-colored EDH deck, so as such, I tried my best to fix the mana base with as little money as possible. So I don't have any shock lands. That's about it, really. No shock lands, no alpha, beta, dual lands, none of those fancy, dancy cards. But I do have command tower, all the vivid lands that I could fit in the colors, uh, all these M12, M13, you know, these types of things, these, these dual lands. Um, whoops. Uh, all the Ravnica bounce lands that fit in my colors. And Firelit Thicket, the only filter land that I have put in. Because, well, I don't own any other filter lands, and I don't really need to filter black anyways, because I got so much black as it is. Anyways, Jun Panorama and Terramorphic Expanse, just to search those guys out. Bajuka Bog, just because Graveyard Hate in EDH is pretty relevant. Spine Rock Knoll is a hideaway of land that activates when I deal seven or more damage. I'm generally doing that because of my big hasty tokens. And finally, Savogthos, the Restless Tomb. I just love this land because, uh, let me zoom in a bit here. I just love this land because of its ability to turn to a potentially huge creature. And the fact that I've actually won a game with this land. I attacked for the win with this guy, so that's really cool. Getting into creatures in no particular order here. Uh, Wild Cantor can just... It's nice, it can sacrifice itself. You can see that I have a lot of uh, sacrifice outlets and self-sacrifice effects. Because quite frankly, I just want my creatures to die. Uh, Radha is just a mana dork more than anything. Strangle Root Geist, of course. This guy just loves to die. Nether Traitor. Sort of the same deal. This guy kind of loves to die because it can self recur. And it's an unblockable 1 1, so. Reassembling Skeleton. Uh, this guy can just always come back no matter what, so. That's great. Goblin War Driver is just a Coolio battle cry guy who can 
potentially leave a huge or lead a huge army to victory. Groundbreaker, the big old trample haste guy that dies at the end of the turn. Yeah, that's cool. Eternal witness. Why wouldn't I have this? Fertilid. Well, actually, I should go into uh, Fertilid, Ingot Chewer, and Shriek Ma here. Uh, these Lorwind slash Morning Tide elementals can just uh, kill themselves off, basically, so that to uh, get an effect. So Fertilid's nice because it can get me two lands before it dies. Ingot Chewers can destroy an artifact like someone's Soul Ring or somebody's. Uh, Isochron Scepter, or what have you. And then it dies. Shriek Ma's a Doom Blade. Well, actually, it's a Terror, but you know what I mean. It can die as well. Collar of the Claw makes, uh, kind of makes a lot of creatures dying in a turn on my side a lot less painful, other than the fact that I'm already getting paid with 3 1 Graveborn. If my commander's out, of course. This guy gets me two, two green bears for every creature that of mine that died uh, this turn, so. Very nice. He has flash as well. Lizolda the Blood Witch is a sack outlet that gets me cool effects, depending on whether that creature's black or red or both, so. That's really nice. Gutless Ghoul, another sack outlet that gains me life. Murray the Cursed is just a cool person. Cat. Uh, I mean, f flying first strike haste with vampirism. That's the effect they call where, uh, you know, they deal damage and get a counter. Uh, this guy's just really cool. This gal, I should say. This cat. It's quite the cool cat. Anyways, Urbrass the Hidden. Uh, giving my creatures haste isn't that relevant, however, uh, making my opponent's creatures a turn slower is just excellent. Shambling Shell just can sacrifice itself and then recur with Dredge. Fierce Empath can search out some of the bigger dudes in the deck, and we'll get to those later. And then he can just die after that. Dusk Urchins is just draw power, really. I mean, a 4-3 for 3 is just pretty cool. And then drawing you, like, 3 or 4 cards afterwards, that's really nice. Hell's Caretaker can uh, sacrifice creatures to bring back creatures during my upkeep. So, that's really neat. Ashenmore Liege. Pumps up my Graveborns to big scary 5 threes. So, and Ascendant Avinsar is an empath target, usually the primary empath target. And he pumps up my uh, Graveborn even further. And then uh, gives all non-black creatures minus one, minus one. And the cool thing about that is if I search this guy up with uh, Fierce Empath and then play him, he'll kill off the Fierce Empath and put out a big strong... Uh, Graveborn, because I usually have this guy out like most of the time. Commander here. He's kind of out of the spotlight. Let's get him in there some more. Alright. Phryxian Plague Lord can sacrifice creatures or himself to weaken others, so that's really nice. Obviously, with all my creatures dying, it would make sense to put Avatar of Woe in here because, uh,. Playing a 6-5 that can just destroy anything for 2 was pretty relevant. Pretty great. I used to have Vasira the Dreadful there, but I decided Avatar of Woe was obviously the better choice. Savra, Queen of the Golgari, just, uh, you know, gets me effects when I sacrifice creatures. Golgari Grave Troll is just crazy. Nothing needs to be said about him. Seguin Praetor. Uh, sacrifices a creature to destroy all other creatures with that same mana cost. So if I'm actually playing a token deck, I can just... Uh, well, I'm playing against a token deck. I am playing a token deck. Here, obviously. 
However, if I'm playing another token deck that's just outdoing me, I can sacrifice my own token to kill off every one of theirs, or I can ditch, like, you know, I can pretty much wipe their board if I'm playing my cards right. Deathbringer Thoctor gets bigger when my creatures die, and then can remove his bigness to paying stuff. Glean Crawler. Uh, this is the new art version from the Is It vs. Golgari. And uh, he's cool. Again, he makes uh, a lot of creatures of mine dying in a turn a lot less painful because he just brings them all back to my hand. Greater Gargadon. I can suspend him and he can just eat up my creatures while he's outside of play giving me a bunch of Graveborns, and then he comes into play as a giant 9-7, which is pretty cool. Getting into artifacts, we got Soul Ring, of course. Skull Clamp, of course. Calling Dia, Sack Outlet, draw cards, sweet. Elsewhere Flask, drawing cards, and making all my land of a certain color if I need them to be. Nim, Death Mantle. Uh, turning stuff into black zombies with Intimidate, and recurring them. Neat. Whoops, I skipped a card here. Alright, Mortar Pod. Uh, sacrifice Outlet as well. Cauldron of Souls, very awesome. Gives all my creatures persist in it uh, when I tap it for the turn. So... Persist is awesome because if, like, say a 1 1 gets sacrificed and I gave him persist, he'll die, come back, and then die again, resulting in two tokens. Two of these tokens. And that just gets me all sorts of uh, benefits as well with uh, other creatures coming in. Uh, enter the battlefield effects in the sort. They can die and re enter as with a minus one, minus one counter. Um, Cage Sun, of course, is, uh, you know, it's Cage Sun. No need to talk about that. Alrighty, so Rampant Growth, Explosive Vegetation, that's in there. Blightning, just, just because. Temporal Extortion, if there's two things I love doing, it's cutting half my opponent's life in one t go and taking extra turns. This gives me the best of both worlds by giving me one or the other. Uh, Diabolic Tutor, that's pretty obvious. Dread Return, again. Great Sack Outlet. Praetor's Council, just, just not caring, just putting my graveyard in my hand. And then giving me no maximum hand size, that's just great. Genesis Wave, great late game mana sync to get a bunch of stuff. Harmonize, drawing cards. Void is just like Seguin Praetor I mentioned, I, except I actually get to choose the number. And I get to destroy all cards, well, I get to make someone discard all cards with that number. With that number of mana cost. Also, this picture uh, reminds me of Bioshock quite a bit. Uh, Fire Spout is a good board wipe when it needs to be. Pyroclasm, again. Blasphemous Act, yeah, we got all these big board wipes. Den of the Fire Herd is a great late game finisher. Just boom. I mean, if you don't know what it does, I'll let you read that. Alright. Whoops, I'm just bumping everything. Alright, Putrefy. Of course, gotta have Putrefy. Especially with that sweet new art from the new Is It vs. Gulgari set. Go and buy it. Eye Blight's Ending, destroying a non elf creature. How many creatures are elves? Not much. Well, when you look at the big picture of all creatures in the game, this is a pretty specific spell. That usually ends up destroying a lot of things. Terminate, uh, you know, it's terminate. Destroys a creature. Uh, speaking of Eye Blight's ending, this will probably be replaced by Dreadbore once Return to Ravnica comes out. 
a uh, beast within, destroying a permanent, and giving them a beast within. Dismember, uh, just killing creatures. Manamorphos, adding two mana of any combination and drawing cards. Fresh meat, just like color of the claw, except it gives me three green, a three three green beast whenever, uh, for every creature that died this turn. Makeshift mannequin, reanimate something. Alright, so I'm, I'm trying to go fast here because uh, I don't like long videos. I don't like uploading them, they take forever. But uh, anyways, moving on to the final bit, these enchantments. Uh, abundant growth, great to slap on a uh, land like Sabogthos, the Restless Tomb, just to make it produce any mana. Lignify, because most of the time, just having your commander or whatever creature of yours, a 0-4 tree folk with no abilities, is just a fate worse than death. Bad Moon, yeah, Bad Moon, buffs up my tokens. Guys Anthem, same thing, buffs up my stuff. Fecundity, drawing a card for every creature that dies is just great. Parallel Lives, getting two tokens for every one I would usually get is excellent. Painful Quandary, punishing my opponents for doing stuff. Impromptu Raid, uh, tossing out the top creature or the top card of my deck. If it's a creature, it gets haste and it gets sacrificed at the end of turn. So, very good for me, because I like that. And finally, we have Tombstone Stairwell. Well, you're looking at this and you're like, what the heck is this? Uh, has a cumulative upkeep of one and one black. But basically, during each player's upkeep, they get a 2-2 haste black zombie token for every creature in their graveyard. And those tokens are sacrificed at the end of turn. Or when that leaves play. So... This guy is just, or this enchantment is just popping out more guys to accompany uh, these guys and just making this huge undead army for me. That just don't give a crap about summoning sickness and it's just great. Alright, so that was my Sekhar Deathkeeper EDH deck. If you guys enjoyed, like, favorite, subscribe, all that junk, and I will see you guys later. I'm going to bed.